Hi friends, welcome to this class. And in this class, we are going to discuss about reactions. That is electrophilic substitution reaction and nucleophilic substitution reaction of pyridine, as I have written here. So I am going to be very fast with this. See, pyridine when react with bromine, and we know that pyridine, pyridine is having 6 pi electrons and there will be electron load above and below so these are rich in electrons so the electron deficient compounds like electrophiles are going to attack this electron rich pyridine so these are the few electrophilic substitution reaction and also we know that why they are undergoing only substitution why not addition so here see this is one is bromination Bromine in 573 Kelvin reacts with pyridine to give 2 or sorry to not 2 1 2 3 3 bromo pyridine or 3 comma 5 dibromo pyridine. Here we know we should name it them in anticlockwise direction and one should be going to 19 1 2 3 4 like anticlockwise direction. About this I have told in my first or the second class. So please go there and watch it. And this is about bromination. The next this is about mercuration. CH3CO2 H G when treated with pyridine, we are going to get 3 acetoxy mercuric pyridine. This is mercuration. Now we have nitrogen, we take nitrating mixture that is one molecule of HNO3, three molecule of H2SO4 at 573 Kel Kelvin. This is nitrating mixture when treated with pyridine, we are going to get three nitro pyridine. And then comes uh, cold H2SO4, concentrated H2SO4 at 573 Kelvin. When we react it, we are going to get pyridine three sulfonic acid group. This is the electrophilic substitution reaction. Here you observe that till now we have discussed about furan, pyrrole and thiophen. There the electrophil attack to the second position. But here we observe that electrophile will attack the third position. One, two, three. Third position the electrophile have attack. Why this is so? The question is why this is so? That will be answered in my next video. You please watch it if you want to know. Then the nucleophilic substitution reaction. Since uh, this pyridine is rich in electron, it should undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. No doubt. Then the question comes why it undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction also. The, the answer for this question is see the nitrogen in this pyridine is more electronegative and it is more deactivating group that is it pulls the electron density towards itself because of which these carbons which are respect to hybridized becomes electron deficient so we also react with nucleophile nucleophile are the species which are rich in electron for example the, the example for nucleophile are OH minus see here KOH aqueous means K plus OH minus OH minus is a good nucleophile these are rich in electron similarly C4H9 minus Li plus these are called organometallic compounds in organometallic compounds the organic compound gets negative charge so these are also important for the nucleophilic substitution see here sodium Na plus NH2 minus. This is also a good base that is nucleophile. So these are the nucleophile, and because of this carbon, which are electron deficient because of the uh, minus I effect of nitrogen, that is, it is going to deactivate the uh, ring, that is, it is going to pull the electron from this carbon. So these carbons are electron deficient, so these are going to react with the nucleophile. And they, there are some nucleophilic substitution reactions. See here, when KOH at 573 reacted with pyridine, we got this compound. The name for this compound is, let me write here, so that it will be useful for you. It is true pyridinol. Pyridinol. The beauty of this pyridinol is C. This is the structure of pyridinol. Here we have OH group and this is the structure of pyridinol. 
This H plus is acidic, so it gives H plus ion like this, and it becomes minus. And this minus because it is enol double bond. OH group means enol, 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 enol. It means double bond. All means alcohol OH group. And this OH group will be acidic in nature because double bond. This will be having sp2 hybridization. The hybridization of this carbon is sp2. So it can have that electron. It has capa capacity to withdraw that electron because of which it gives H plus ion here and this electron will be pulled by that carbon so it shifts here and this electron comes here so the next compound what we get is like this nitrogen is here it gets minus and here hydrogen so n minus H plus bond will be formed and here we have ketone C double bond O ketone group is here so the name for this is 2 pyridone O N E ketone O N stands for ketone. See from 2 pyridinol it is rearranged. That rearrangement is nothing but tautomerism. I have shown you tautomerism. Why it gave H plus because of sp hybridization of carbon. It can have the control over the electron. It can withdraw those electrons because of sp2 hybridized 33% of S character and this is indoor in which double bond O in which alcohol this is the word 2 pyridinol then here see organometallic compound C4H9 this is butane N butane lithium at 373 Kelvin we are going to get this product and here in nucleophile substitution we observe that the nucleophile attacked only to the second position 1 2 the second position the nucleophile attack whereas electrophile have attacked to the third position 1 2 3 third position uh, the electrophile have attacked why this is so that will be explained in my next video which will be in series huh, this is about uh, what nucleophilic substitution reaction here also we have metallic compound say organometallic c 6 h 5 2 phenyl pyridine you get here it is 2 butane pyridine here we got 2 amino pyridine by treating NaNH2 at 383 Kelvin in next class we shall meet and we shall discuss why this is so huh? till then take care and have a great day bye